we've got the summer tunes on. We're having a coffee. Wave! We've decided to be um, near the stage today. <laughs> I'm taking my coat off all weekend, all my hat. I have to say, this is the first time we've had to move in the night, isn't it? Welcome back to packing our trunks. We are Nikki and Kevin, a married couple from the UK. In March this year, we moved full time into our lovely camper van Nelly. This is episode 16 of our series of videos about living full time in a van here in the UK. Good morning. Good morning. Oh, <laughs> Nikki's taking her pants down now, <laughs> which were hanging up there. Good morning. Good morning. We're in a supermarket car park, stocking up. Uh, Nikki's trying to make a week's worth of food fit in our little fridge. Unsuccessful. How's that going, Nikki? No, it's not. <laughs> so yes, yeah, so we are stocking up because we're off to in the rain a festival. We're going to something called the Armchair Festival which is at a place called Mount Edgecombe, which is in uh, Cornwall, opposite Plymouth on Plymouth Sound. A bit of van life adventure, a bit of people who cycle around the world, loads and loads of talks, loads of activities, swimming in the sea. And there's camping there, we've got six nights camping, but we want to be stocked up, we're full of water, we are emptied our toilet, empty our grey waste, and we're going to be full of food hopefully full of electricity and ready for a great week's camping. Bit of an update for you. How's it going, Nikki? <laughs> I can't get everything in. You got the summer tunes on? Off to a festival. about the festival but one of the things it did say was make sure you bring some chocks because it's not level so we've got a massive pair of ramps haven't we from yeah. our uh, we've just borrowed them from our son-in-law so fingers crossed we hope we can get um, some way to being level so we've arrived and uh, yeah everybody's coming from all directions the choice of being convenient up at the top with the um, facilities or to come down and have the view. Oh. So we've gone for the view. Why wouldn't you go for the view? Nelly, we've made camp. We are. We were here five minutes after the gates opened. Yeah, we say every week. We've slept in worse places. <laughs> How exciting! Yeah, I am. I am. Now we're here. <laughs> now we got the van up on the ramp. I keep having ask her for the tenth time. Please put the handbrake on. <laughs> That's a little. I have to say, I still find that a bit unnerving. That we're on a slope and. Um, 
yeah. Anyway, I've got to get over that. Feeling the festival vibe now, Nikki? Yeah, I am. I am. I am now with Park. Yeah. And what a sport. Yeah, and it's not massive, is it? No. Five o'clock Tuesday. Let's see how it fills up as the week progresses. Good morning. Good morning. Right, it's uh, seven a.m. We've woken up in Nelly with the beautiful view across uh, Plymouth Sound from Mount Edgecombe. Now we're walking the three quarters of a mile or so to the Cremill Ferry because we're off to pick our little grandson up. Um, our daughter's driving down to Plymouth. She walk, actually works in Plymouth. And um, yeah, so we're going to go and pick him up from the Royal William Yard. So come along with us. Dinner here. Good morning from Mount Edgecombe. It's Thursday morning and today is the official start of the Armchair Adventure Festival, which is why we're here. But yeah, so this morning we're going to go for a little run, aren't we? Yes, we are. Yes. Go and explore the site a bit and then uh, we'll be ready to uh, party. <laughs> Mount Edgecombe is a house, gardens and grounds covering 865 acres of the Rame Peninsula in Cornwall. We didn't explore every acre but we did enjoy the fabulous views across to Plymouth and out to sea, as well as the marvellous gardens and art installations. The Edgecombe family has history here going back over 600 years. There is such a rich maritime and naval history here and we enjoyed seeing HMS Albion arriving back in port across the water into Plymouth. Mount Edgecombe is now owned jointly between Plymouth City Council and Cornwall Council. The campsite's busier now, isn't it, Nicky? Yeah, a lot, lot busier, yeah. yeah it's a nice, um, nice atmosphere. It's, it's the first uh, evening of entertainment, so I um, don't know what to expect. The first evening of entertainment involved festivals goers being invited to give five minute talks about their own adventures, followed by a great band called Black Friday. People to gather at eight o'clock and go for a swim. One of the organisers said last year they got three people. So this is a nice berry band for them this year. We know we're at the right festival when so many people are joining us in the sea at eight o'clock in the morning. Never 
We saw and heard so many inspirational talks that we feel we should mention them all. On Friday, we started at the smaller stage and saw Jane and David, who drove six continents in six years living in their Land Rover. They were followed by the Tough Girl podcast, recorded live as Sarah Williams interviewed Vanessa Ruck, who's known as the Motorcycle Girl. She has achieved extraordinary motorcycling feats despite recovering from a horrendous injuries from a cycling accident. We then moved to the, the main stage for Dylan Wickrama talking about his incredible motorcycle journey, which included turning his bike into the power for a raft. From that, we quickly grabbed a seat for journalist Damien Gabet talking brilliantly about trespassing. The inspiring speakers kept on coming as a legendary sailor, Conrad Humphreys, spoke about his solo around the world race. We kept our front row seats for the epic tale of rowing the Atlantic by a couple called Ros and Andy. And we ended the evening with a superb vegan burger to some lovely chilled music and a saunter around the festival site. It is uh, day three of the Armchair Adventure Festival, although we've been here for four nights. The festival itself started on... Uh, Thursday afternoon, well, Thursday evening, wasn't it? It was. Let me come yeah. to the other side so you can see the view. But yeah, it's still winter in July here. <laughs> but yeah, this is day three of the festival itself. Let's see what we see today. On Saturday, we watched another Tough Girl podcast being recorded. This time, Sarah Williams interviewed M Emma Trenchard, who had ridden her Vespa all the way to Mongolia. We also watched Emma's talk on the main stage later that day. We've decided to be um, near the stage today. Our proximity to the stage meant that Dr. Will Duffin used Kevin as a volunteer during his amazing talk about extreme medicine. Really, so this is your anterior superior iliac spine, just here, this is your umbilicus. And the line across here is called McBurney's line. And McBurney's point, two thirds of the way between the umbilicus and the anterior superior iliac spine, that's where I'd like you to make your incision, okay? Once you've done that, I want you to blunt dissect into the external oblique aponeurosis and let me know you've entered the abdominal cavity. Any final questions? Uh, no, no, I said. Everyone, thank you very much, Kevin. The talk from the festival organisers, known as the Sidecar Guys, about the Siberian leg of their epic adventure, reassured us that there really are plenty of good people out there still. A rare break in the weather gave us a chance to stretch our legs before ending our evening listening to Sally Orange, yes that's her real name, who holds many records for completing marathons dressed as fruit. She also completed seven marathons in seven days on seven continents. Good morning. Good morning. Good Sunday morning. Wild and wet night. <laughs> Very wild and wet. It'd be quite apt for an adventure festival, I guess. I'm taking my coat off all weekend, yeah. all my hat. Come to Cornwall in summer, they said. <laughs> so this is the start of our final day. Uh, we are staying tonight, off early in the morning. Yeah, start of our final day, and I'm sure there'll be snippets of highlights throughout the day. We're not really videoing the speakers, it's a bit rude, isn't it? Hopefully we've grabbed a flavour of this amazing festival for you. People really are amazing, aren't they? We were bombarded by stories of adventure, 
defying the odds, refusing to accept no as an answer. Hema Shouldry, a trailblazing female motorcyclist from India. Ben King, a tour de force of a character, travelled the world using only ill-advised routes, it seemed. Adam Hugill, cycling the world from Hull and back. Guliash Shan Tariq, oh wow, a mesmerising talk from an incredible woman, defying tradition, family, the Taliban and any road in front of her, not only to achieve seemingly impossible journeys on her motorbike, but also to empower women in her native Pakistan to be equally brave. A well-deserved and prolonged standing ovation was the least she deserved. As the storm came in, we took a break in Nelly and had some food before the final two speakers. People were clearing out as nobody would want to be camping in the incoming wind. Jo Bradshaw, another incredible woman, defying the odds as she tackles the world's toughest seven summits. Finally, James Lavelle, a firm maker and explorer on a mission to get the world to pay attention to the climate crisis. And we'll see you next year, we'll see you next year. Yeah, yeah. Cool. Nice one. So that's it, that's it for us, because uh, we're, we're too old to stay up and listen to the bands, although we will hear the bands quite clearly from Nelly. Have you had the best weekend? Yeah, it's been absolutely, it's been brilliant, hasn't it? Absolutely really brilliant. fantastic. Yeah. We got here yeah. six days ago. And, and it's, uh, just, it's just gone so quick, hasn't it? Yeah, yeah, suddenly it's uh, suddenly it's Sunday night, and we're uh, we're going back to Nelly for the last time on this uh, yeah. this amazing adventure. Are you inspired? Yeah, we we yeah we've just seen 21. It's 22 now. 22 speakers, and just everyone has just been brilliant. Yeah, Absolutely nothing brilliant. has disappointed. Yeah. I cannot recommend the Armchair Adventure Festival enough. No, we can't. Yeah. And um, really, really if, if it works with our travel plans, I can't see a reason why we wouldn't come back next year. Yeah, no, you? absolutely. Just, I just right. hope that we could come back with yeah. some nice weather It is weather literally, literally winter here yeah. <laughs> on the 30th of July. <laughs> right, we're going we're gonna to make a beeline back to the van and uh, uh, yeah, we'll see you later. <laughs> Just a bit of van life reality here. It's uh, we're so exposed to the wind where we are. I think we're going to have to move in the middle of the night. Morning. You can't see me, but it's two o'clock in the morning, and uh, we've just filled it with diesel and LPG because we couldn't sleep anyway. So. Uh, let's go and find somewhere else to try and sleep out the wind. Good morning. <laughs> I am out of bed. I have got my clothes on. So we're just about to go um, over the Tamar Bridge. And um, yeah, I think we're going to head into Totnes. And then, then we're meant to be going to Cornwall. Um, oh, we're in Cornwall now. <laughs> we're in Cornwall now. <laughs> I have to say, this is the first time we've had to move in the night, isn't it? Uh, yes, it yeah, is, yeah. So it's a bit of a shock to the system, I have to yeah. say. So thank you for watching, that's the end of this week's video. We survived our run away from the wind last night, which we recorded a bit for you, and uh, ended up having a good three and a half hours sleep somewhere else. 
<laughs> yeah. We're very tired. We're very, very tired. So, yeah, yeah thank yeah. you so much for watching our video. And, yeah, we've um, had a fantastic week, haven't we? Yeah. And um, yeah, if you've enjoyed it, enjoyed this week's video, give us a like, subscribe if you can, that would be brilliant. And just thumbs up and uh, hit the notification bell. Uh, apparently, you then get told when we release next week's video. Uh, yes, so that's it. Thank you very much, and it's um, goodbye. 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 Till next time. <laughs>